Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over a recently released poll by Emerson College, which shows that Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, defeats President Joe Biden 47 to 46 in a new poll, recently released just a few days ago. So, I want to get into this video because I thought this is something very, very interesting that uh, we could kind of cover and talk about. So, in this poll, President Joe Biden has a split among his approval rating, disapproval rating, with 47% disapproving of him and 46% approving, making him 1% underwater. And 7% on the side, it's important to note too. His approval rating, which they tell us is in February when Emerson conducted their previous poll, was at 49% approved to 39% disapproval rating. So Joe Biden's approval rating in that time dropped 2%, and there was 12% undecided. And about 7% of that undecided or so went into disapprove plus the 2% from approve. So why did this happen? Because this poll is less about Donald Trump uh, getting better and more so about Joe Biden getting worse. So what happened? Well, again, here's the chart. Do you approve or disapprove of Joe Biden doing his president? 46% approve, 47% disapprove. And honestly, they have the Afghanistan poll. I'm going to get back to that stuff first, but... I want to show, this is a very important one. What president holds most responsibility for the war in Afghanistan? President Bush is taking most of the blunt. Makes sense. He was the one that declared war in Afghanistan. But second place is President Joe Biden. And with 24%. And Donald Trump actually shares the least amount of blame, according to this poll, of who was the problem in Afghanistan. And, Chris, is there a... Here we go. Uh, no... I thought I went into the Afghanistan war a little more specific, but anyway, it's not important. Joe Biden's approval rating has taken a hit because of the Afghanistan situation. We know this. Now, what's really interesting is this poll, the 2024 presidential primary, with Donald Trump leading the way with 67% of the vote if Trump is running. If Trump is not running, then Ron DeSantis gets 32% of the vote, and he holds a lead over Mike Pence, who has 24 in second place. So what this poll says... Is it's very clear if President or former President Trump runs, it is his primary to lose. Donald Trump will be the Republican nominee in 2024. The polls have all backed this up. It's pretty much set in stone. If Donald Trump does not run, then it's a much closer race, and there could be opportunities for someone to open up. But I would bet Ron DeSantis is the favorite, and then Mike Pence would actually come in second place and Ted Cruz in third place, which is very, very interesting. That Mike Pence, despite everything that happened, a lot of supporters, it looks like, it kind of looks like President Trump's support honestly splits. That there's about 6% who support Pence, and then of that 67 that support Trump, it looks like half goes into DeSantis, and almost half goes into Pence, which is interesting. But this is what you came here for the video for. 2024 hypothetical ballot. Biden versus Trump, if the election were held today. This says Donald Trump would get 47% of the vote to Joe Biden's 46%, with 6% voting for someone else. So, why is this important? Well, after a president is elected, usually the president is in this period of time where things are going well called the honeymoon period. This is where they're still new, their administration's new, and most polls show they're very favorable and they're doing a pretty decent job. And... In the wake of the Afghanistan aftermath, it is safe to say Joe Biden's honeymoon period is over. He's in the blunt of it now. Uh, it's not going to get any easier for him from, from here. His approval ratings have shown that. He's down to 45% on Real Clear Politics' average. So Joe Biden is certainly taking a hit. And seeing this number, where Donald Trump leads Joe Biden 47-46, it's just adding more kind of gap, kind of adding more gas in the fire. Where you'll always see that. After a presidential election happens, a year or two years later, they'll do a kind of a rematch poll. For instance, with Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, a rematch poll came out before the midterms in 2014 of Obama versus Romney, and Romney was beating Obama by about nine points in that poll, kind of showing you what sentiment the midterms are going to be. This is a little different because former President Trump has made every indication and hint that he is going to run again. So this poll has even more added validity. And Trump is up one. This could mean one or two things. This could mean that Trump's just up one with 47% now, which means it's just a approval poll or is a nationwide poll. Because I don't think Trump would win the national vote 
by one point over Biden. I expect him to lose the popular vote. But if Trump is winning nationwide, he's up one. President Trump will literally become President Trump again. Because he would win all of the Rust Belt, including Michigan, at 1% nationwide. And likely Nevada, Arizona, and Georgia as well. If this is just 1%, just a who do you like better 1%, well, obviously things are going to change and stuff. So we have to wait and see. But the only problem about this is when you look at the other Republican contenders, uh, Joe Biden has 42% against Romney, and there's a lot of undecided vote. And then Biden against DeSantis is 48-36 with a lot of undecided vote. Which is interesting and certainly questionable if you ask me. That a lot of things I've heard is that Trump is very polarizing, so he won't be as electable in 2024. But then DeSantis is doing worse against Biden, and Biden has more support than against Trump. So that's I do question that, but still something interesting to keep an eye on. And then that was pretty much it, I think, for that poll. They do go into some specifics about COVID and about masks and uh, vaccines and stuff, but I'm not going to get too much into that because that's not really what the poll I want to focus is really about. I just want to show Trump versus Biden. That's the interesting part to me. But yeah, uh, do you think that this poll is, a, first, is a good poll? I generally trust Emerson. I think they're more of one of the closer, reliable polls. They show things are often close. But the Republican Party has made it clear they want to nominate Trump in 2024. Biden has clearly lost a step in terms of approval rating. Is this poll an outlier, or is this going to be a trend we see of Biden versus Trump 2024 polls that show Trump leading or Biden not doing as well as he should be? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think, whether you agree or disagree, and like the video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber of mine, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. You could also leave a comment below telling me if you'd be happy to see a Trump versus Biden rematch and who you would think would win that. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.